everyone. It's Chelsea from Paper Rock Geo Studio, and it is the first day of June, and the, and so it's time for my vlog. Um, as I'm going through the vlog, I'll be doing the calendar art in my planner thing that I use. This is a, a freebie calendar, and I just um, do art on the edges because it's ugly. And then um, I talk through it, trying to get through all the stuff that I need to talk about for the month of June. It's going to be a crazy busy month. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is challenges and our Art Joy of Sharing Art Community Facebook group has a challenge going on this month to do an artist trading card every day. We are very excited to have lots of people commit to joining us in this little fun activity to get you jump started for your summer of art. And all you need to do is make an artist trading card. That's a three and a half by two and a half inch card. Each day you can post it anywhere in social media using the hashtag ATCAD. 2019 and of course I'll be posting on Instagram and in our Facebook group um, each day and then also have compilation videos of um, the cards like you know three or four at a time. Uh, the next thing I'd like to tell you about is another hashtag event that is Love Summer Art. On the 15th um, there will be a ton of people from Creative Arts Collaboration making summer themed art and if you search that hashtag Hashtag love summer art. You'll find lots and lots and lots, not just this year's, but um, previous years as well. It's so the, the creative arts collaboration hasn't had a hashtag event for a while. So I'm excited about that. Um, on the seventh, I'll be having my pick a stick challenge page. And then throughout the month sometime when I can fit it in, I'll be having my tag and ATC challenge. You can always come and join that group. Um, I'll have links to things in the, in the description box below. But I know that my page is coming on the 7th. Uh, don't forget about Art Joy of Sharing live streaming. That comes every Thursday, the 6th, the 13th, the 20th, and the 27th. And that is a live stream show with different topics this month. The month of June, we'll be doing ATCs all month. But we'll be doing different techniques on each, on each uh, day. So don't forget to come and watch that. Um, also, another collaboration I'm doing in the month of June is the Seasonal Digital Background Summer summer Collaboration. We, we are making backgrounds, scanning them and sharing them digitally and then making something out of them. It's myself, Peg, Bea Grop, and um, Gina B. Aarons that are doing it. And the last one for spring was turned out really awesome. So I think the summer one will be fun too. That's coming on the 21st. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to be doing an art doll this month uh, swap, and I'll be showing it in a video form. And the the uh, theme is self-portrait, so that's going to be kind of bizarre. I haven't started it yet. And, of course, I have uh, a full moon art on the 17th. That's the strawberry full moon. And then an animal portrait sometime toward the end of the month. Um, of of course, uh, I've got my design team stuff coming out on the 18th. That's uh, Jeannie B. Aaron's design team for her Etsy shop. And this month, we have swapped packages with another person in the design team, and we'll be using whatever's in the package to make our project. Uh, so I don't know what I'm making. I haven't even seen my, my package yet, but I hope to get it before, <laughs> before the 18th, which is when my thing should come out. Um, let's see what else I think I've talked about everything here on the page I'm doing uh, some acrylic paint this is a really simple simple art this month for my calendar um, I didn't want to get just there's a lot going on I didn't want to get too fancy with it but I used some acrylic paints to make my background and made some hand cut masks and stencils to do that with and a sponge brush then I'm going to collage a little bit. This, this, the June to me is the first day, is the first, first start of summer. It's hot. We're getting into triple digits already, even though it's uh, technically the 30th of May when I'm making this. Um, and to me, summer means vacation. It means relaxation. It means chilling out. And so I'm making a scene about, you know, being on an island, resting and relaxing by the ocean. Of course, I'm not doing any of that. I'll probably go out to the pool, maybe. We do have a pool. <laughs> and um, I don't know. It's not It's not exactly what, 
what is really going on for this summer because we've got a lot of commitments. But yeah, it's what I wished I was doing. I wished I was on an island just with some pina coladas in a coconut and some pineapple treats and, you know, just chilling and relaxing. And yeah, that would be awesome. That would be great. So that's what my page is about. And so I'm just using some different gel prints or extra painty papers to create a palm tree and things like that. So in the news, um, personal news, we're still doing treatments for another four months for the cancer that is going on in my husband's body. He is very miserable. <laughs> I tell you what, cancer treatment's bad. They just poison you and hope that you survive the poison and that that kills the cancer. It's I really wish they'd come up with something better than that. So that's exhausting and frustrating and tiring. Um, just doing that over and over and over. And I've been trying to cook a lot, cooking things that he enjoys. Uh, his ch taste has changed. Doesn't like anything sweet. Doesn't like doesn't like so many things. So I've really mostly been spending my time trying to figure out how to give him nutrition because that's what he needs. Um, of course, I want to say my thank yous for people who've contributed to my channel in the last month. I have a donation button, the PayPal donation button that you can just donate right down below my video. If you enjoy all the free content that I provide on my channel, it's always helpful if you donate. Big thank yous going out this month to Lori M, Linda S, Linda R, Arlene B, and Vinalda. Thank you so very much for donating to my channel, ladies. Another way that you can help me out is um, with Amazon. I'm an Amazon affiliate, and I've told you guys about this before, but there's something new, so I'm going to tell you something new. Uh, in the link below, there is a link to my store. I've created an affiliate store, and I've put some stuff in it. It's not completely populated yet. I've been working on it slowly uh, when I have time, but if you, if you use the link to the store, which is in the description box below the video, and you bookmark that and go use that every time you go to Amazon. I mean, I go to Amazon almost every day. If you use the link that goes to my store, even if you're buying something else, it doesn't matter what you're buying. It just using that link to get there helps me out. So if it's not art supplies that you want that I've listed below the video because you know I always list what I used below the video and a lot of those links not all of them but a lot of them go to Amazon because that's where I buy a lot of my materials even if you're not planning on buying materials if you have my store bookmarked then and use that as instead of typing in www.amazon.com you just use that it will help me out a lot because I get credit for getting you there and so um, that's just down there below the video. It says it says my uh, Amazon store, I think, or something like that. That's always helpful. So what I'm doing right now is using some Posca pens to just add some detailing to my acrylic paint and collage. Um, I used some brown and some green and some white, and just do, kind of doodling over, making it look a little bit more realistic. And then I went over and I got out a couple stamp sets that I had that are summer themed and was thinking about using some of them. These little birds, these little sandpipers are so cute, but didn't really have any place to put them. The only place there's sand is right there by the tree. So I just stamped a couple of them in black right there by the tree um, in the sand. I'm going to use the, the sandy texture one with some brown, some potting soil ink. Uh, just to give the, that piece of craft paper some some sandy texture. And then there's like kind of a watery one that I'm going to use with the blue on the water just to add even a little bit more texture to it. And yeah, this page is very simple. It, there's not a whole lot going on here, but it, it definitely portrays how I'm feeling about summer and, and June. And I was thinking about putting that little boy playing in the sand, but I didn't have another island, so I would have had to make another sandy island over here to put him on. So I used my stickers from Gina B. Aaron's planner set to add the June 2019 and uh, just a little bit more detail work with the Posca pins. 
and doing some little swirlies and things in the clouds. And um, I think I draw around the June sticker there. And that is about it for this page. Uh, not a whole a bunch of busyness. Just uh, let me run through and make sure. ATC a day, love summer art, pick a stick, live show, strawberry, full moon, digital, seasonal summer collaboration, animal portrait, art doll, Gina's design team, and news. Yep, I think I've I've hit everything. If, <laughs> if something else pops up, you'll just be surprised. So that's it for me. Thanks. Bye-bye.